Hello, hello! And welcome back as the team prepares to celebrate its first flawless victory with a Mortal Kombat themed cosplay party in Perfidious Pete Plays XCOM 2. And sure, the Mortal Kombat themed cosplay party may sound like fun, but let me assure you, the fighting over costume assignments has been fierce. Like, it almost actually devolved into Mortal Kombat at a couple points. Phil Spector and Bill Cosby got into a huge Twitter war over the wise and elderly Raiden. Kobe and OJ got into a fist fight for the rights to Jax. And Martha Stewart and Reese Witherspoon stabbed each other in the cafeteria after an argument over whose idea it was to go as Sexy Katana first. So, hey, wait a minute. Is, is Sexy Katana even a costume? Her whole outfit was like a French-cut leotard and a pair of steel fans that were both props for her sultry victory dance pose and also deadly blades for slicing throats like Sweeney Todd in order to achieve said victory that allowed the dance. I'm pretty sure Sexy Katana was just Katana. Oh, you know, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Katana was the chaste one, now that I think about it, Mortal Kombat 2. She stayed PG-13. She covered her alluring and naughty bits with those fans, oh so delicately tempting and teasing. Melina was actually the sexy one. She wore the same outfit as Katana, except pink instead of purple, and she didn't hide her assets with concealing fans. No, 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 no. And Melina's victory dance? It was sucking her opponent off until they came so hard they didn't have any bones left. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure Melina was actually the sexy one. Speaking of sexy, last mission was pretty damn sexy. It didn't quite suck us off until we came so hard we didn't have any bones left, but you know, it was close. Let's get back to work here. Good idea, Lily. Let's go, you know, touch the alien stuff. Oh, this is the Shen's DLC cutscene? Right, okay. How come Rover is always busted, by the way? Why is Lily always taking him offline, upgrading and repairing him, and then sending him back out again? Isn't good enough good enough, Lily? He's like your pet. This would be like a dog owner who periodically took their dog into the vet, had its legs chopped off, and then replaced them with bionic legs. You know, its regular fleshy legs were doing just fine, thank you. Did you need to give it the robot quad body? Sure, he can run 75 miles an hour, and you've never got your paper to the door faster, but it still seems a little unusually cruel. Keeps kicking himself in the head when he tries to lick his nuts because the robot leg just doesn't interface quite right. Plus, when he scratches back and he does that leg thumping thing that dogs do, he keeps kicking holes in the floor. The robot legs were not a great idea. Well, as a hypothesis, Bradford, let me postulate that they may have built a giant factory that will spit out an endless army of death robots. And uh, one of them is going to be recruited and join the team because rather than go conquer the facility, take it over, and have it produce an endless army of death robots for us to use to fight the forces of Advent, we just blow it the fuck up because we have no sense of compunction, comportment, or any idea what constitutes a useful military strategy. No, no, let's blow up the facility producing the robotic death machines, not use them against Advent. Yeah, I'm gonna say not now for this. This will wait basically indefinitely, and I really don't want to do the Shen's Last Gift DLC. That one's not going anywhere anytime soon. We don't really need to visit the black market. Let's just, uh, we must, what were we, scanning? I say we just get back to scanning here. Let's head back over to the eastern U.S. and see if we can't get a mission to pop. We'll let that ride for a little while. Mostly, I want to get a couple more gunners under our belt so that we've got plenty of shred ability left. And honestly, I wouldn't mind getting mag weapons before we go mess with that. New target acquired. Get a guerrilla operation. Recover an advent item from a train to find a lead. Okay, enemy activity is very light. All we get out of this is 30 intel. Let's see what our infiltration timer looks like. Three days, eight hours. That means we would basically have to send one man or go in guns blazing. Is it is it is it literally one trooper? We could yeah you know, we could go with three actually. No, we can't go with three. Three days, twenty hours. It's yeah okay. It's not not even one dude can successfully infiltrate this. Yeah, well this mission is straight up hot garbage. All right, let's go look at the other one then that hopefully isn't hot garbage. Sabotage the Advent Monument and get Advent's attention. We get Chris Ferguson. Ooh, resistance personnel. I like this. Please don't have an infiltration time of like nine minutes. 10 days, 11 hours. 
Well then, we could really tool ourselves up for this one. How many how many squad members can we get? So let's see who's on the team. We got Matthew Hit and Run Broderick, acceptable. Jared Fogel, good. The Joker. We got Lance Corporal OJ Simpson. We got the Spectre Spectre. We got Bill Allegedly Cosby. So that gives us a pretty good front line of troopers. Let's see what else we could wedge in here. I know some of these guys are in our other squad. You know, we wouldn't mind getting Tanya Harding into a mission. Let's grab her. The master plan, we have not really had a chance to try out the technical yet, and I'm eager to do so. And then what else? Should we take a rookie? I mean, I'd prefer not. Do we have anybody else we might be able to get some EXP? We could bring one of our sharpshooters, and we don't have one. We're just supposed to blow up a monument. Maybe a sharpshooter would be useful. Could we try Squatty Reese Witherspoon? Let's try Squatty Reese Witherspoon. We'll, we'll grab her and haul her into the jailbirds for the time being. We've got an explosive. We got a flashbang. This, I'm tempted to replace this with a smoke grenade, but in, eh, you know, you know what? Bill Cosby's got med kits sort of covered. I do want to get another smoker in here. Can't be. Yeah, we don't want it to be Matthew Broderick. Fogel already has a smoker. Um, you know, Spectre. There's almost no situation where we're gonna want you to throw a flashbang rather than shoot. So why don't you grab the smoke grenade? He's got his combat knife as a secondary weapon. Speaking of secondary weapons, let's take a moment to look at all these. And also, we're going to do some weapon upgrades, too. So our uh, ramp-up time for this episode is going to be a little bit longer than usual. Oh, your secondary weapon is the gremlin. You know what? Yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. Let's just let, let's let well enough alone there. you got your combat knife. You really need a backup weapon. Oh, no, you, got your, you probably have a shotgun, right? Yeah, you got the sawed off. Never mind. OJ is already ready. He keeps that sawed off handy for close encounters. You're gonna have a yep, okay. So you know what? Let's give the Joker the hunter's axe. But in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Uh what have you got? Does it even matter? Can we go with oh you have the arc thrower? Alright, so you have a class defined special one. At some point we're really gonna have to try and figure out what that arc thrower actually does. So it seems like our sharpshooter is really the only one who we need to get a secondary weapon. You have a hollow targeter as your secondary. Well, never mind. Everybody comes with a secondary weapon. Why do I even get the option? What's What do you have? You have the gauntlet. Okay. Fire a rocket or a flamethrower. Uh, yep, you can do both of those things. Well then, let's see about some weapon upgrades, shall we? So we want to start with like our premier team. I'm thinking a hair trigger here for O.J. Simpson would be nothing short of fantastic. So we're just going to go ahead and slap that on there. Do we want to give him a scope? We're not really worried about generating criticals with him. Tim Allen, however, Tim's going to need some criticals. So let's get him the advanced laser sight. And then we got... Do we have two assaults on this? You know what? Yeah. And also, good. I love assault troopers. They're fantastic. Where's my boy, though? Uh, we're looking for my other assault. Or am I just bringing the one? No, we got Jared Fogel. Jared, we're going to give you also a laser sight. Do we want to give you a hair trigger? You know, it could be very useful. A hair trigger would be enormously good for a member of this team. But it feels like maybe we could put that on somebody who's going to be just maybe a little better. A hair trigger would also not be shameful for our sniper. So you know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's drop a hair trigger here as well. Laser sight? No. We, did we, we gave Jared Fogel a laser sight, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, we just have, we have more laser sights. I think we'll hold off on those because I like giving laser sights to my assault troopers. I want them critically anytime possible. And our total infiltration here is 10 days, 2 hours. So are we going to roll with, uh, with an 8-man crew? I feel pretty comfortable rolling with an 8-man crew against extremely light resistance. I think we're going to be good. Let's get this kicked off. You'll get him, team. The only problem here is if we get another tempting mission in the near future, it's 10 days until these guys get back. They're going to be gone a while. They got half a fortnight to set up for Operation Moon Saga. Let's get that started. And things are starting to look a little light around the old barracks. So we have two guys on supplies, two guys on intelligence, three on rookies. You know what? We're going to we're going to trim out our resistance adjustment just a little bit because one thing I think I wouldn't say I've learned, but I, I got a tip on this from one of the members of my Discord channel who was, you know, just offering that we we're talking about the game. They offered a little advice. Apparently, infiltration time is actually affected by Haven management. 
if we come up to I don't want to do research speaking of which what are we researching right we're okay we're doing the basic research boost uh, I want command I guess anyway for resistance management the number of people that you have working on Intel provides you a better option for higher infiltration time so Intel is very important if you want to keep your missions approachable so I think we're going to take this rookie off of recruits and put them on Intel instead. Newbie Helen Myers is going to be working those contacts for us. She's going to be out there Rue McClanahan style talking to the people. Mostly stripping, but also talking to the people. Operation Steaming Vagabond. Don't ask me why, but I actually love that mission name. Oh, we got a ton of resistance personnel here. Baseline enemy activity, extremely light, Operation Steaming Vagabond. The last time we tried one of these missions, though, it did not end well. Let's take a look and see what our infiltration total looks like. Six days, two hours. So not fantastic, but it's not out of the question that we could get a team of four in here. So let's take a look. Who do we got? The public servants are available. Who's on the public servants? Jay-Z, Kobe Bryant, who is actually out due to wounds. So we would have a sharpshooter. This is going to be like a mobile mission, and a sharpshooter is just not good. So let's look at the drunk guy. Tim Allen is out for another day. Reese Witherspoon is already infiltrating. So we'd have Halle Berry, Martha the Broker Stewart. Both of this I like. Tanya Harding is already busy. So you know what? Let's uh, let's actually go in here and do some soldier assignment. I don't want to assign soldiers. I want to remove them. Koki Smurf, you can beat it. Reese, take a powder. Oh, they're already infiltrating? I don't... You know what? Let's just make a new squad. We got the jailbirds. We got the public... Or here. Let's just do this. We'll remove these guys. It's fine. We'll put them on the public servants. Jay-Z, I'm going to take you out for a minute. The public servants is now empty. Let's try and build a team. Specialist, Grenadier, seems like an extraordinarily strong start. After that, shit starts getting thin. So we could go Sharpshooter, Rookie, and then Rookie... Let's take a look and see what our infiltration time looks if we send six soldiers here. Can I, no, I don't want to assign the drunk tank, though. I want to assign... Did not... I, wait, I just... Did I not... No, I did, I did make a... Public service? Yes, we want... Okay. Still learning the interface a little bit. There we go. There's my guys. We are two hours over the mark if we take five troopers. Two hours over... What are our rewards? We get a rookie. Calvin Flores and Jeff Williams. Man, I'm, I'm two hours over. All I need is a, all we would need is like a You know what? I think we run it two hours over. It's, it's two hours, man. It's two hours. Ability and gear modifiers. Wait a minute. We can trim something from gear? How do we do that? If we get rid of a piece of gear... So let's... If Jay-Z, if I take off, if I go to your loadout, if we ditch your ceramic plating, does that put us under? No. Abilities and gear. How do we see that our gear is adding, like what gear is adding time? How do we know what gear? It's, it's definitely not the armor plating, so we might as well put that back. So what gear is adding time to our trip? We definitely want Halley Speed Bump Barry having that grenade launcher. That's that's a must. What if we So we got rookie Nick Nolte? Okay, let's here's here's an idea. Let's just If we get rid of Nolte, we're way under. Let's put Nick Nolte back. If we edit his gear and change it, what do we have to get what do we have to get rid of? Like if we get rid of this frag grenade and take nothing instead. What if we just take no, absolutely nothing? It doesn't change our gear modifier at all. All right. Well, I'm a little bit confused about that. I'm guessing it's probably abilities, and then it must be like having a grenadier along on the mission. It, it's got to be. It's that's. It's got to be. It's, it must be the grenade launcher. Do we want to go without a grenade? Launcher? I'd rather run with four and a grenade launcher and one less rookie than I would run without that grenade launcher. So Nick Nolte, let's put you back. The in fact, you know what? As a rookie here. Let's give you the flasher. We'll put the ceramic plating back. And then what we're going to do, Nick, is we're just going to kick you off the team. So we got five days. That's fine. We can actually get in pretty far under our bonus. I really don't. 
want to take Jay-Z along because he offers so little. Let's try it. The last time we sent Jay-Z out on a mission, it ended in sadness and catastrophe when Flava Flav and Lil' Kim tragically became the rap duo that Advent has always wanted under control. You know, I honestly think they captured him not because they knew they were fighting in the resistance or anything like that. I think they were just looking for some sweet concert action. It turns out the elders, big hip hop fans. Who would have known? Would not suspect that, uh, you know, your psychically powerful weird aliens would be like, yeah, man, that's public enemy and, you know, they're the shit, man. Love it. Gotta get me some of that flavor. And then they, they were like, well, this is the perfect opportunity. We actually got ourselves some of the flavor. So, yeah. Alien debris are cleared. Fantastic. All right, this this is actually nothing short of huge for us. So let's go in here. We have 127 supplies. Unfortunately, what we really need to do is get some more supplies so we can build our advanced warfare center. But we need, what do we need? 23 supplies. How could we get 23 supplies? If we head to the black market, is it time to maybe sell some stuff? Let's go check out the black market and see if we can scrape up those 23 supplies. We've really been throttled and bottlenecked on our supplies very heavily. So if we sell Advent Trooper Corpuses, are you very interested? You are. All right. If you're very interested, we're going to ditch some. I think we go down to four. Illyrium Crystals we're going to hang on to. We could also scrub this laser sight. You know what? Yes. Yeah, I'm cool with that. After having clicked the button, that pause was me deciding I'm suddenly very much less cool with that. But it's, you know, it's, it's too late. Rethinking that already. I'm thinking that may have been a mistake. But we've got to get to AWCS, if for nothing else than just to reduce our wound timers. Yes, put the one unstaffed engineer on building it. What do you think? Mike Kennedy's just going to sit around? There are two options for Mike Kennedy on the XCOM project. He can either have a shovel and be breaking his back trying to clear this alien machinery. Or he can be up here... Doing something useful with his life and building something. Constructing something. Which one do you think he's going to do? The, the pointless menial labor or the one that will last beyond himself and have uh, outcomes that echo into the future? And in the, once the resistance is successful and humanity has been saved from the alien onslaught to be like, you know, that Mike Kennedy is the guy who built the hospital that kept those troopers who saved us all from certain doom. He's the one that kept them alive. It was Mike Kennedy. People are going to remember that, man. Operation Cursed Gears. Ambush an advent troop column to reduce enemy strength. Light. Reward enemy materiel. Ho, 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 ho. But both of our good squads are busy. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this one, and this one might be simply because of a lack of personnel. This would be like all rookies. We got seven days. So if we grab the drunk tank, all right. We'd have Tim Allen. We'd have to ditch Kobe Bryant. So Kobe... So the drunk tank is already infiltrating. We'd have Nick Nolte. If we, okay, so we'd want to create a new squad. Spearhead, let's rename this. We got the LAPD drunk tank. We got the public servants. We got the jail birds. Uh, this is going to be felonious assault. Pretty sure that's how you spell felonious. And if we assign, who could we assign to Felonius? It'd be one, two, okay, so this would be, we would have effectively, uh, okay, we just can't do this. We'd only have three people on the mission total. As much as I would love to ambush this, oh, never, you know what? Mark Wahlberg. No, we just, we can't do it. We can't do it. It's too, it's too dag diggity gum risky is what it is. We got a new one. Let's head down to the old Guerrilla Tactics School. Let's chuck another rookie in here. Michelle Rodriguez should be finishing in a moment. Let's get Courtney rat a tat tat bang love in here. What do we want Courtney to do? Specialist, we got... I, I kind of feel like maybe we could use another gunner. More shinobis would also be good. What's... Okay, Michelle Rodriguez, what are you training? Your training is a technical. All right, you know what then, Courtney love... Yeah, we're going to make you a shinobi. You can smash a man's head open with a whiskey bottle. You can probably smash his head open with a sword just as easily. And we're going to be back here in just a moment when Michelle Rodriguez finishes. Yeah, there we go.
So Michelle Rodriguez is our technical. If only you guys could have finished before that mission came up, we might have been able to give that last one a go. Back to the GTS, and what do we need here? Let's grab old rookie Randy Quaid here. Randy, what are we going to want you to do? Technical, a specialist, you just don't seem like you got the soup for it, son. Ranger? We've been getting some good utility out of our Rangers. We already have a couple assaults, but I love assault troopers. Gunner, Ranger, Sharpshooter, Shinobi, Specialist. We do sort of need another Specialist, but that's just... No. Randy Quaid, to me, does not say Specialist. When it came time to hack the alien mothership, was it Randy Quaid who hacked it? No, no, they sent Jeff Goldblum. What did Randy Quaid do? He just rammed his ship into the aliens like an idiot because he couldn't come up with a better plan and his gun was broken. So no, Randy Quaid, we're going to make you a ranger. You're willing to sacrifice yourself for the good of humanity? Well, let's put that to the test. Rangers are the first in, last out. They never leave a man behind. Let's see if Randy Quaid's got the soup to live up to their example. All right, so here's our infiltration then. Operation Steaming Vagabond. I really like the mission name we've got here. We're definitely going to do this. We're 121% infiltrated. Enemy readiness is actually vulnerable. There's no way we're not going to launch this mission. We're getting fantastic rewards here. A bunch of personnel. Maybe some levels for some, uh, some troopers. That'd be very nice. Let's do this, team. Steaming Vagabond. Steaming Vagabond sounds like a music festival. Hey, man, did you go to Steaming Vagabond last year? Oh, dude, did you see that? I was there. It was the greatest fish, man. They did a 75-minute set. Blew my mind. Probably because, you know, I ate like six and a half gallons of Special K before the concert. But, man, when fish takes the stage, bro, you know you're in for a good time. What would be the main event at Steaming Vagabond? Because from in my head, Steaming Vagabond is like a burning man where they burn a giant wicker statue. What's Steaming Vagabond, I wonder? Ah, uh, they just throw a bunch of hobos in a sweat lodge and get them all stoked out on peyote and then turn them loose in, like, downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico and let them run wild? They come out of the sweat lodge and they're all, you know, covered in steam and they're high as shit on peyote, freaking out, running around. Yeah, that's Steaming Vagabond. They get, like, 50 hobos, chain them in a sweat lodge for a weekend, feed them a steady diet of sweat and peyote, and then just turn them loose and watch them go. I kind of want tickets now. Oh, the hobos are definitely naked, too. I, I, don't, I don't think I mentioned that out loud, but in my head, it's, it's 50 naked hobos high on peyote after being in a sweat lodge for three days with no food and only a little water, and then they just turn them loose in downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's what's taking place in my head at Steaming Vagabond. You know, your mileage may vary, but me, I want to see that. I wouldn't also mind seeing maybe this mission begin. It'd be real nice. Steaming Vagabond, if you could get underway, perhaps. We've been waiting a piece. Any day now. Any day. Ah, uh, take, take time. There it is. All right. Demon Vagabond took a sweet ass time. So we got Holly Berry. Oh, frame rate. There we go. Jailbreak. A group of resistance contacts were round up during Advent Suite and being held in holding cells in the area. Advent vehicles are inbound to transfer the rebels to an unknown location. Limited window to extract and get these people out. If we can safely extract them, they would be an asset to the resistance operations in the region. Okay. Let's hope they're not all the way across the entire map like they were last time. They absolutely are. If we have anything less than 12 turns, we probably won't even be able to run there. So we have to get... Why do they keep doing this? This is just too far. We would have a difficult time even reaching those zones in 12 turns. All right, well, I'm already salty, and the last time we took this exact same mission, it turned out horrifically for basically the exact same reason, in fact. It was just so damn far, we couldn't get everybody to the extraction zone. I do want to get to an elevated position, but I also... We got to... Here's the drawback of this, too. We would love to move exclusively on elevated positions and try and take as much advantage as possible of any potential height elevations. The drawback is... If we do that, we, we, we can't move very far because all we can afford to do really is just run in a straight line directly at the goal or we're not going to make it. 
It also makes this move extraordinarily risky. What we really need is some stuff to up our foot speed. A couple PCS units or something that enhance our ability to move. We're just... We're, we, we gotta go faster. We gotta go faster. Channel your inner Sonic the Hedgehog here, guys. Sonic loves to go fast, and man, Halle Berry is boat anchoring the shit out of us here. The speed bump is definitely living up to her name on this one. All right, so there's a pot of aliens over there, which means we want to go not that way. There, in this direction. Well, we want to go not that way, but we can't afford to not go that way because that's where our objective is. Well, that sucks. All right, Martha Stewart. I'm not even sure Halle Berry is just going to be able to, if she does nothing but flat out run towards the objective, I'm not sure she's going to be able to make it. And that's if we have her do literally nothing except just sprint at the objective. I don't know if she's going to be fast enough. Look at this. She's got the grenade thing, which I understand is slowing her down, but at some point we're going to have to take like a catch-up turn just for Halle Berry to get near us. Okay, Jay-Z, we definitely want you on this rooftop. This is really risky. Because we don't know if there's an enemy looking at the edge of that building. And our audio clue tells us there could easily be enemies here. And if this is in their sight range, so will that be. You know what we need to do? We got to stay low first and get a peek around this corner. So let's do this. We'll take Winona to the corner. doesn't see anything. You know, we need to turn for Halle Berry to catch up anyway. Moving to designated corner. Let's go to this corner. Looks like hostiles over here. Okay, so there's our advent team. What do we got? Two what appear to be engineers? Two engineers and two troopers. That's actually an officer and a trooper. That's a pretty That's a fairly hefty pod actually. Jay-Z we're going to have to run a risk here and take you to the corner. If this busts our concealment, we are completely poor. Okay, we got away with it because that was the squad that we saw. They had moved along. All right, Martha Stewart then. Let me get you over here. Halle Berry, can you eat? Halle Berry can't even get to the top of the building. Good God, she is slowing us down. So for stealth missions, we also just learned an important lesson. Mobility and foot speed are really a serious factor. Halle Berry may as well not even come on this mission because she's going to contribute absolutely nothing. All she's going to be able to do is run straight for the extraction zone. That's the only thing we're going to be able to get out of her is just have her sprint for the extraction zone. Otherwise, she's not going to make it. This is such a ridiculously long run, too. All right, so Martha, let's get you here. We're sort of relying on Martha Stewart to be able to go in and hack these cells open. No additional enemies, which is good. We really don't want Jay-Z to go farther forward than Martha Stewart. Can you, Winona Ryder, slip around these guys? Yes. Come over here and take cover behind this coffee table. And hey, check it out. Free latte for Winona Ryder. You know she's taking it. There's nobody there. That latte is unattended. That's that's hers now. She's picking herself up a free latte and probably a scone, too. Because, I mean, shit, why not? Free scone? Who doesn't want a free scone? No need to ask twice. Allie Berry's going to hit the rooftop. Which means Jay-Z is safe to advance. I really want to get Jay-Z. I'd love to get him on top of this building, but ultimately I don't think that would actually do us any good. So instead, we're just going to take the balls to the wall full-on sprint. And the one thing we can use Jay-Z for here, he's got a relatively high foot speed. We can have Jay-Z run in and be the guy pumping people out of their cells. Well, that's very bad, especially if they patrol towards us, which they're definitely doing. So we got a Viper. Don't. Oh, they're converging on us. This is extraordinarily bad. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. I don't. I don't know if we're going to be able to get. I don't know if we're going to be able to get anybody out of this. We've got, like, an extremely narrow window here. We may just have to. We may just have to drive by and wave at these guys because I don't think. We definitely can't get in there. These guys are going to patrol this way. I do not want to end up in the middle of an advent sandwich. 
And that looks like what, if, if we go in for it, that's what exactly what's going to happen. We're going to wind up right in the middle of an advent sandwich. So either we've got to fall back to where these guys cannot see or detect us. And engage this pod, which, you know what, is an idea that, that has some merit. We could fall back, engage that pod. No, then we never make this. We, we never escape. If we engage this pod right now, we will never get away because we don't have enough time to make it to the evac zone. This team is too slow. I don't I don't think we can do this. I would love to pick up these. I really would. I would love to pick up some of the benefits we've got here, but can you get onto this rooftop without getting spotted? You can. We're spotted there, but not here. We should definitely be spotted in that tile. All right, let's do this. We're going to go to here. We need to know exactly what constitutes a detection tile up here before we come up. Nope, this tile is safe. All right, Jay-Z. I mean, Jay-Z can see all of those guys. If that tile was not safe, we would know. Unless the game is straight up lying to us, which it is not. All right, Halle Berry, you're going to do exactly shit. You're not all over anything, Halle Berry. You're completely useless on this mission. You're going to do exactly nothing. Squat, bupkis, fuck all. Not a zip zilched big goose egg. Can we get Martha Stewart up here to any form of cover? We can. All right. I want the height elevation if I can get it. And these guys are patrolling this direction. I hope we can get deep pockets here. This is going to put deep pockets right in the middle of Boner Central. She's going to get pounded, but I think on this mission, we're probably just going to kill four aliens and go. We cannot get in here with the time we have left. The only thing we might be able to do is maybe go loud, blow a hole in the wall, try and rescue one or two, and then beat feet. These guys, they're going to patrol towards us. This means we can't do anything this turn. We've got to wait for them to patrol away. We're going to have everybody pinned down. We're right where I don't want to be in the middle of an advent sandwich. On the plus side, this does give Halle Berry an opportunity to catch up. We just got to find a spot for her where she would likewise have some cover and not be in a detection tile. This is effectively the only game in town. And it does put Halley on a rooftop as well. But if all we do is come on this mission and run for the exit, you know what? So be it. That's If that's all we can do, it's all we can do. E pockets cannot move. Martha Stewart cannot move. Halle Berry's already taken her turn. If these guys will patrol away, even if one pod patrols away, we might try the, the hole in the wall dash maneuver. These guys were never going to... Okay. Everyone is pinned down. These guys are not patrolling away. I cannot fight eight units at the same time. Is everybody pinned down? Wait, Winona Ryder, you're not pinned down? Okay. Halle Berry, can you move? Halle Berry can move. We got to make sure that none of these are a detection tile. We can see every member of this pod, so if any of these was a detection tile, we would know. Confirmed. Moving out. All right. Also, if we are going to try the blow-and-go plan, Halle Berry is an integral part of said blow-and-go plan. Jay-Z, we're going to hold off on you for a minute. Halle Berry is going to be the one who has to get over there to make plan blow-and-go function. She's the one who makes it work. I'm worried that these guys might patrol back towards us. We need to put Winona in a position where she will be possibly able to do something, but also not vulnerable to flanking. I'm thinking here behind this potted plant will work. This is a deadly game of cat and mouse we're playing, by the way. Okay, so Martha Stewart, we want you to move here. Because we kind of want Halle Berry where you are now. If she could get there, that's where we would want her. But she's not going to be able to. If she's not on a ledge and ready to fire a grenade, there's no need to have her do anything. Jay-Z, you're going to overwatch Martha Stewart. Overwatch just in case. Let's see what our enemy friends are up to. We have five turns till extraction, by the way. At this point, if we don't bust somebody on this, if we don't get somebody out of the jail on this turn, I don't think we're going to get anybody out. Simply because I don't think they'll be able to run to the exit that fast. So we have to be very careful. 
I don't, uh, you know, I love, I love the feel of this, actually. This feels like a real guerrilla operation, dog. All right. This, this is going to be our turn, then. So, Martha Stewart, we want you over here, because we're going to need some people to cover these guys if we bust them out. And remember, the mission is about getting some people and getting them out safe. That's what we're here for. Jay-Z, we're going to have you fall back here. You're going to drop into Overwatch. Halle Berry, we need you to run as far as you can, as fast as you can, girl. And, but also still be able to get a grenade onto that doorway. So we're going to bring you here. This is the riskiest part of this turn right here. If that pod of vipers patrols back into us, we're, we're sort of sunk. Got it covered. Because then we have to fight. And we're probably going to need that grenade to... Okay. Yeah. window for extraction is closing. So here's what we're going to do then. Let's uh, let's see if we can do this. All right, speed bump. Get loud, girl. We need to not kill the people in this cell, by the way. That's that's one very important part of this plan is to not murder them. So we got to also I would prefer to not destroy her cover if possible. I really wish I could see in here better. So really all we want is just like this. We want to open the wall, but we don't want to kill anybody in the cell. And honestly, you know what? Destroying her cover is not the end of the world. So this, we want to go in one, two. This seems like perfect. Boom. All right, Halle Berry. This is a jailbreak, girl. We're doing it the old-fashioned way, Wild West style. Yank the bars off from the outside. They spotted us. That, did, that, did, that, did, that absolutely did not work at all. Well, our concealment is blown, and our one trick didn't didn't work because this we didn't we didn't actually blow a hole in the wall. This is not destructible, I guess. So the Advent Prison is t okay. Well, I mean, our cover is blown. The only other move we've got is this. Okay, Martha Stewart, where are you? Can you get in here? It's gonna leave us this is gonna leave us two turns to evac. Two. Solid copy. I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this or not. Moving to Overwatch. If that had blown open the wall like I expected it to, I think this plan would have worked. But uh in absence of the door exploding. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get out of here. Honestly, we're we're in yeah. Here comes our viper, so we're gonna need some Overwatch. We're in a little trouble. Our plan is just to run away, like scared and frightened children. We got a graze on a viper, six damage. Viper with two armor. Oh, we okay. We got it. One kill. Jay Z managed to pick a dude off. So the question now becomes: with two turns left. Does opening the door take an action? It takes one action. We could then fall back to here. If we fall back to here, are we going to be able to make it to the extraction zone? The answer is probably no. We won't be fast enough. We can't. We got to the door, but we can't hack it. Because otherwise, we have to leave Winona Ryder behind. Let's count. Okay, let's count Winona's tiles. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to be patient here. We're gonna have to count tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the blue. We got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fourteen tiles is the most we could go. So the furthest we could get is here. This would be eight, nine, ten through the window. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nope. She would. We, we can't do it. If she opens this door, she doesn't escape. All right then, this mission is uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to ride it off. Also, everybody is gonna have to fall back here. Halle Berry. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to engage the enemy. I think we may just straight up have to run for it. In fact, yeah, we're just gonna straight up run for it. There's no advantage to fighting, so we showed up, killed exactly one Advent Trooper, 
and then had to run like scared, frightened little bitches because that's exactly what we are. Scared, frightened little bitches with uh, these mission objectives. The placement of them really needs to have some looking at it done because our troopers simply are not fast enough to complete the mission. We haven't made any mistakes on this mission. We've done nothing wrong and we're still going to fail. Not because of anything we did, but simply because the goddamn mission objectives are 8 trillion miles apart. If somebody gets wounded in this mess, I'm going to be just unspeakably salty. I'm going to be inconsolable. So far, so good. Our, our full cover is holding up, but I don't like the fact that we're taking shots. So we showed up, we killed one enemy, and now we have to leave. This is supremely disappointing. Halle Berry, move. Jay-Z, move. So yeah, Demi Moore definitely would not, or Winona Ryder, rather. I, keep, I got a Salt Trooper, and Demi Moore was in our Salt Trooper in our last campaign. We definitely would not have made it. So we, we came on this mission, we killed one alien and left. That, that's, that, this was the whole mission. Yeah, I'm as disappointed about it as you are, Martha Stewart, because this was not being able to blow a hole in the wall. If that plan had worked, we could have rescued not all, but some of these guys. We could have gotten, we could have gotten something out of it. Instead, we're just gonna go home. Commander, we failed in our mission. Yeah, well, what the hell was I supposed to do, Bradford? The objectives were so goddamn far apart, we literally couldn't walk that far. Maybe have Firebert bring things a little closer to home next time. I wonder if we had called the evac option in and dropped it closer. If we could have maybe made it work that way. Next time that happens, maybe we'll try that. When the turn we go loud and break our cover, we'll just call for evac. I don't know if that works, but it's an interesting mechanic we should at least explore because this is unacceptable. We did nothing wrong. Nothing. Yeah, put your head in your hands, and then go up to the cockpit and put a foot in fire Bert's ass. How are we supposed to... The other thing we could do is, like, get rid of... Strip down all of our gear so that our characters are quicker. But I'm not really sure that's a viable option, because we need that gear. We still got a promotion, so I guess the mission wasn't a complete and total loss. Winona Ryder did manage to get uh, promoted from Rookie. She went on a mission. She's now a heavy weapons trooper. All right, so she's a technical. That's good. We can always use another technical. If we had had a rocket there, maybe Winona Ryder could have brought down the building. Yeah, I know these VIPs were lost. What am I supposed to do about it? I tried to rescue them. I tried. Couldn't do it. They were in too strong a facility. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. You know, you're telling me that I don't have uh, the ability to feel a full-size squad? As we rapidly develop and because, honestly, in this game, sometimes a full-size squad is literally one dude. The proclivity towards the sciences would be of great use to me. I, I'm aware that you want scientists, Dr. Tang. You know what I want? Mission objectives that aren't 8,000 miles from the start box. That's what I would like. Right now, though, I'm just going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. And if you'd like to see our continual campaign of failure, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of XCOM, The Long War 2, every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to go buy Firebird a map. I'll see you again soon.